Hello, my name is Liza, and today I'd like to share with you how I made not one, but two quick and simple Valentine's Day projects. One will be a topiary, and the other will be this cute Valentine's garland that I actually have hanging over my TV because we don't have a fireplace. What you'll need from the Dollar Tree are two of these signs. They are um, dangling hearts. I think they're meant to be door hangers. I used seven of the hearts. And you'll also need some jute twine because that's going to be what your hearts are going to hang from. Because the hearts only have um, a hole in the top part of each set, I had to drill some more hearts. So I used the welcome heart that had a hole and that was my heart that I used as my guide so I knew where to put the holes in all the other hearts. Once I had all seven hearts with a hole in them, I needed to start stringing them for my garland. I have a quick video on how I did this because it's easier to show you through video as opposed to pictures. This is going to be a demonstration how I put my garland together. I know that some people, when they make a garland, what they end up doing is they just tie their, their object, in my case a heart, right onto the string that they want to be their garland. And when they go to hang it up, it'll end up, the hearts will always be on the side like this, which is t facing top down, but you know, like the string will be like this, so it doesn't face forward. But I have a solution for that that's really worked well for me. So let me just take this apart a real quick second. This is going to be um, the piece that we're going to pretend that this is our long piece of string to create our garland and all of our hearts will hang from. This is the heart. Remember, we put, uh, drilled some holes through them. And then we'll have our jute twine. Now, I like to start with about a 12-inch piece of twine and I fold it in half and I create a small loop. I pinch it closed so that I can put it inside my um, object that's going to hang, in this case the heart, and I'm going to go from the top to the bottom, back to the fr front to the back. Now we have our loop in the back and we have our tails in the front. We're still not going to be putting them, you, you would think that you were going to just do this, but no, we're going to have one extra step. We're going to actually take our two tails and we're going to go through our loop. So now we have the loop is in the front of the tails and the tails are in the back. At this point, we're going to flip flop it and we're going to just raise that up a little and we're going to create a second loop. We're going to take our garland strand and we're going to place it underneath the tails but in front of the loop. We're going to position the heart where we want it on our garland and once we know where that will approximately be, because there's still going to be some wiggle room so we'll still be able to slide it a little bit later, and we're just going to hold it down and we're going to pull it really, really tight. And now it's secure. And then we're going to um, make a ribbon bow, a shoelace ribbon, I mean, sorry. And now it's going to hang straight, flat, especially when you put your strands behind. Once you have all your hearts where you want them, and remember, it still has some wiggle room, so you can just pull it left and right until you have where they want, and then just flip it over, and then I just took a little dab of hot glue and I put the hot glue where the garland strand is, in this case it's green, and the jute twine hanger met and I just put a little hot glue there and then I knew that they were going to stay there for years to come. And here's what my garland looks like hanging above my TV and you can see all the hearts are facing forward. The next project is this topiary that came about because I had an extra hearts left over. So we'll be using the heart that we didn't use in our previous project, the one with the welcome, a bush of the patriotic carnations found at Dollar Tree, this beautiful ruby vase also from Dollar Tree, uh, some of the Valentine table scatter, some jute twine. I like the garden stuff better than the hardware stuff. And uh, one of these metal Valentine words. 
first thing I did was I removed the flowers from the plastic stem. Then I found a scrap piece of printer paper covered with Mod Podge, crumpled it into a ball, and then with my thumb I made a slight indentation and waited for it to all dry. In the meantime, I took the plastic stem that was left over, separated it into sets of three pieces and braided them. And then I glued the two braided pieces together so we had one braided stem. Once the uh, paper ball was dry, I hot glued that to the end of my braided stem. And then I took all six carnations and I um, placed them with hot glue onto the ball until the whole ball was covered. Next, I used the um, sanding block from Dollar Tree and scraped off all the glitter, which comes off really easy. So then we have a clean surface. And then I used white chalk paint and I covered both sides. So this was the side that had the writing. This was the back and I'm a very messy painter. And then I painted the reverse side as well. While that was drying, I found uh, the love sign in my metal words and I covered that with crimson red chalk paint. When the white heart was dry, I took my uh, stylus and I dotted with the red chalk paint some uh, dots in the scallops on both sides of the heart. Then to stand my flower up, I'm actually using a wine glass plastic base from Dollar Tree and I flooded it with hot glue and then I inserted my braided stem into it and waited a while for it to set up. And here you can see that it stands up really nice. As I'm decorating both sides, there really is no front and back. We're gonna take our 12 inch piece of jute twine and again, we're going to make a loop and we're going to put it in on one side and then we're gonna pull it out through the other side. Okay. Now, depending on how long you want your um, item to hang is going to be how big your loop is. I needed it to be a short hanging section because the heart was big, so I made my loop rather small. So now my loop is behind the heart and my tails are on top of the heart. The next thing I did was I separated them. So now I have a right tail and a left tail. And I took my right tail and I wrapped it around the back of the loop and brought it to the front. And now it became my left tail. Then I took my left tail and I wrapped it around behind the loop and now it became my right tail. So now I have a little loop there and then I'm going to take my twine and I'm just going to make a half knot just to hold that secure. Pull it tight. So now I have a nice little dangly thing that I can hang from my vase and I cut and tied a little ribbon. I want to call it a shoelace ribbon. And I cut it, made it pretty. And then I added two of the hearts that were part of the table scatter and I just added them to each end of the bow with a little bit of hot glue. And then I made sure that they hung a little bit, um, one higher than the other one, you know, whatever that is, stacked, that's what it's called. And then I also needed another bow so for the flip side. So I used my little handy dandy bow maker and made another little shoestring bow. And then I took some foam tape and I cut some small pieces to add to the reverse side of the metal love sign. And I attached that to the um, heart and I added my little makeshift little ribbon also with a little hot glue. And then with my Cricut, I um, created this Cheers to 40 Years because this is our 40th anniversary year. And what better, and it's Ruby, so I thought, this actually is going to be a perfect piece to keep up all year. At the 
uh, then just tie um, a piece of jute around your vase with a little hot glue, secure it, and then add your tag. And then once your tag is hanging where you like it, just wrap the twine all the way around the neck of the vase a few times and tie it off and glue it so that it stays. And then your tag will be able to flip back and forth because it dangles a little bit. And at this point, then take your um, braided flower stem that's in your wine glass bottom and hot glue that to the inside of your vase. Do it at the end because otherwise it's really kind of hard to wrap your twine around. So here I have it in my uh, tablescape at, for Valentine's Day. And then after Valentine's Day is over, I'll be adding it uh, along with our wedding picture to our um, dining room decor. I hope you enjoyed my project. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And as always, if you aren't already subscribing, please consider doing so. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with another video. Take care.